So summing up, what we talked until now about is the more like the big, the systemic level that provides the historical, economical and social and political context in which globalization and the digital revolution are taking place. The digital revolution does not occur in a vacuum on a blank sheet of paper. And, and this context gives a lot of conditions on how much the digital revolution can or cannot flatten the world. So it's important that we, we really understand them in order also to understand the opportunities and possibilities of digitalization and the digital revolution. So going back to our analogy of the starfish, um, it's kind of like what we did until now, we, we studied why the ocean is rising, why the starfish are coming to the sea. We talked about some solutions of how we might be able to stop the ocean from rising, but still there are a lot of problems in globalization. And um, we have to start to talk about some solutions. Let's talk about a little bit more about what governments are actually doing. And also on this more on the activist level, what individuals are doing. So these are the guys who pick up this starfish and throw, throw them back one by one because for this one it matters. So let's have a look at that. The epitome of a global action plan has been the Millennium Development Goals. So in the year 2000, at the turn of the millennium, the 100, over 190 countries of the United Nations came together, the heads of states came together in this Millennium Summit, and they agreed on eight very broad goals that they said, well, these eight goals, that's what we want to work on. Uh, until the year 2015 and they often use the comparison from the statistics of the year 1990 until the year 2015 and said we want to achieve work on these eight broad goals which was really one of the first very concrete global action plans policy agendas that we had some of the goals were very famous for example the goal to half the proportion of people living with less than a dollar a day people live in extreme poverty that goal has been achieved which was a huge achievement um, then also others to reduce by three quarters between 1990 and 2015 the maternal mortality ratio other ones half have halted by 2015 and begun to reverse the spread of HIV AIDS. And the last goal, very important, target 8F says to make available the benefits of new technologies, especially information and communications. So uh, it's very important that you research that, that you, that you read and that you inform about yourself about, about these goals. Given the success or let's say partial success of the Millennium Development Goals, but given that it was successful that we had a global policy agenda in the year 2015, then the governments came together again and approved the post-2015 agenda, the Sustainable Development Goals. It's also very important that you research and read about what is happening there.